waypointing was released with Update 218. In this tutorial, we will explore setting options available in the TouchChat app. First, you will need one of these iPad models. Head pointing will be compatible with these devices. Head pointing is built into the TouchChat app settings. It is using the facial recognition capability of the newest iPad Pro to track your head and face movement. It is super easy to set up and use. An individual will also be able to access all the settings within TouchChat using head pointing. No calibration is necessary, however, many settings allow you to customize for the individual. We suggest changing one setting at a time. It may take several refinements to find the best combination of settings for the individual. For positioning, the optimal distance from the device is 18 to 24 inches. The first thing you will need to do is enable head pointing within the settings menu. Once enabled, you will see options to customize a number of settings. Tracking speed offers five options from very slow to very fast. How fast across the screen will the tracking travel? The cursor shape offers four options. No cursor, in which you would likely just use the highlight button feature. Shapes include a dot, crosshair, and an arrow. The off-screen indicator tells you when you have taken the tracking off the screen. You can select no indicator or a dot or triangle as you see here. We offer a number of options for the trigger action. That is, what method will you use to make the desired selection? If you select none, button activations will not take place. You can decide which trigger action is best, a hover, eye blink, open mouth, eyebrows up, tongue out, smile, or a frown. If you select hover, a secondary menu will open that allows you to set the time one must hover over the desired button to activate it. Settings range from 0.5 seconds to 5 seconds. Trigger sensitivity determines how big the trigger action needs to be. Select a low, medium, or high sensitivity for eye blink, open mouth, eyebrows up, tongue out, smile, or frown. If I set it to high sensitivity, it requires less movement. Low sensitivity will require a larger movement. The trigger indicator provides feedback when a button selection has been activated. You can select none, a dot, or a pop, which looks like a small firework on activation. Highlight button is an on-off feature. It highlights the buttons as you move across the screen indicating where you are. There are two options for cursor adjustment. The default will reset the cursor to the default which would recognize the device, the orientation, and adjust the center, assuming the person is looking straight on at the device. The center option enables you to recenter the cursor for example, if an iPad is mounted to the arm of a wheelchair, the cursor would need to be centered to match up with the person's line of sight. If the iPad is moved, it would need to be recentered or set back to defaults. Please note, if the cursor adjusts is set to defaults, it will handle screen rotations appropriately. If the cursor is centered manually, it will have to be recentered if the device is rotated. Cursor smoothing. This can be set to low, medium, or high. Smoothing compensates for minor shakiness or tremors to reduce accidental button activations. With a higher cursor smoothing, broad head movement is required. The cursor is less jumpy, but also less responsive. With a lower smoothing, relatively little head movement will move the cursor, but it is more responsive and tracks the person's head a bit tighter. Another feature of head pointing will be the use of pause and resume in the control bar. You can pause the head pointing by activating the pause and when you are ready to begin again, you can activate resume. 
In the next demo, I will be using an iPad Pro. You will see Touch Chat with WordPower and I have selected the 60 basic file. My settings will be set with tracking speed to normal, using crosshair as a shape, a dot for the off-screen indicator. My trigger action will be a eyebrows up with a sensitivity set to low. The trigger indicator will be a pop and highlight buttons is on. Just before I started, I tap default for cursor adjustment. The smoothing rate is medium. Hey there. What's up? I really like this. I really like this. Your turn. Your turn. Thank you for joining us. Keep up with Touch Chat News, sign up for the newsletter, and follow us on social media.